you know, prepped and proper. Mm, scraggly today. Right. Yeah, so uh, might be testing a uh, costume. Yeah. Costume for our Halloween party. Yep. On the twenty second. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna do thriller dance. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not me. You may look like a zombie, but not me. No, it, I'm not. No, you don't have to be a zombie to do thriller dance. Yeah. 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 So uh, October twenty second is our annual Halloween party. OCT two two. Yeah, I like whatever he said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a costume contest for kids and adults. Mm -hmm. Anybody that comes in costume, kids or adults, are gonna get free comic books. Uh, of candy and like I said, costume contests. So you're gonna win fabulous prizes. We're gonna put that on our Facebook, and people can vote on who they like the best. Uh, you know, we got a lot of great kids comics, but for the big people that come in costume, you've got uh, we got Walking Dead, we've got Chew, we've got American Vampire, uh, a whole bunch of awesome books that we're gonna be giving away. So the more uh, creepy books, mm -hmm. yeah, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's gonna be a whole thing going on the whole day. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players, if you come in costume, Pat said you can get into the, to the, uh, the tournament for free that day. There's going to be a coloring contest, a drawing contest, and, you know, big sale. That doesn't mean you put on a Superman shirt and you say you're Superman. Yeah. Play along. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Yeah, do it for do do a full What are we doing? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if anybody comes in costume as Pat, I'll, I'll give you a free soda. Um, three yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can walk around with a stick, twirl it, be like, I'm pro, I'm epic, I'm a doofus. He would never say that because he is yeah, not yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But everybody knows he is. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's the 22nd coming up. Halloween party. Tonight we've got a party uh, going on tonight to celebrate 25 years of Dark Horse Comics. Which is uh, so just weird. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Which is weird because like 20 years ago was when they first released uh, their Star Wars comics. Mm -hmm. So that was with, like, there was like no Star Wars anything. Mm -hmm. And then the books came out, the Thrawn trilogy... And yep. then the, Timothy um, Zahn and the gang. Yep. And then Dark Empire. And that really, you know, really, you know, Dark Horse was doing all right with the uh, aliens and the predators, but then they really kicked into high gear. Yeah. So, yeah. And so. now there's never a closed door on the Star Wars universe. You always get your Star Wars filled with past, the way past, the sort of past, the future. Yeah. Thank you, Dark Horse. Yeah. Yeah, so we're throwing this uh, Dark Horse party tonight because a couple weeks ago they had a contest where uh, that you could vote online for uh, your shop to win a, an Orchid release party. Um, this is a new comic by Rage Against the Machine guitarist Tom Morello. And uh, we came in second. So, you know, whatever. Seconds are. But we wanted to thank everybody for voting for mm -hmm. us and being so awesome. Yeah, the turnout so, was awesome. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Dark Horse was really impressed. So we've got some goodies to give away tonight between 5 and 8. There's going to be live music, free pizza, awesome deals on Dark Horse stuff. Local band, up-and-coming band, seven states away. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Come check them out. We'll be doing a couple sets here. Yeah. Um, come by. Yeah. It's going to be pretty so, awesome. You, what else do you need? Free comics, free swag, free pizza, music, Dark Horse deals. It's going to be awesome. Hello. So, from five to what eight more tonight. do you need? And when we do a backflip, hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'm do it. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, that's just the, the, the part of the awesome week that's going on here this week. Uh, once again, the new release wall is filled. And I, I had a heck of a time trying to mm -hmm. maneuver everything in there because we've got toys, we've got graphic novels, uh, you know, more DC number twos out this week. Um, so let's get into it. Yeah. Uh, one of my picks this week is Who is Jake Ellis number five? It was the long-awaited fifth issue of this series, which is really awesome. Uh, it, if uh, uh, Nathan Edmondson is also writing Grifter for uh, DC. Uh, just awesome art by uh, Tonsi Zonik. Ooh. But uh, Ooh, really cool, what? really cool series. So I think you should check it out. Uh, another series, and the comic was kind of in the same vein. Um, Pigs number two, uh, which is really cool. It's about a, a Cuban uh, sleeper cell that uh, kind of gets called into action in the current day. So. Oh boy. Yeah. And then I'm going to highlight some of my mar my favorite Marvel books because, uh, you know, DC's getting a lot of love these days. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. A lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know what? A lot of people are like, ah, books are $3.99 these days. This is malarkey. You know, I read it for two seconds. A bunch of people talking. Amazing Spider-Man, Dan Slott, brings the action. I was reading this last night, and I'm like, wow. Like, this took me a while to read. A lot of things going on in this, and that's what I appreciate. So props to Dan Slott. Thank you, Dan. Uh, my other favorite book uh, from Marvel, Uncanny X-Force. This one had an awesome fight scene with Phantom X, Deadpool, and the Blob, which just has to be seen to be believed. So it was
was awesome. 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 And then um, Ultimate Comics Spider Man. Uh, it's it's off to a slow start. You know, uh, he hasn't really showed up a costume yet. But I'm really loving the art of uh, Sarah Pacelli, uh, who's new onto the scene. Uh, she does really great work with uh, really character. Yeah, yeah, like characters, facial expressions, yep. and everything. So, you know, in Benda style, he's got like three issues and still kind of plugging along. Yeah, and, you but know, then he's gonna yeah. come and punch you in the face. Mm -hmm. You know, he always does. Yep. So, yeah, so it's good. Give it a try. The Ultimate stuff has been pretty decent so far. Kind of like it's being re-solidified mm -hmm. after it was broken apart. Yeah. What you got? All right, well, speaking of Dark Horse, where you were, right? Uh, Orchid, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, we got, as you said, Tom Morello writing it. Um, Scott Hepburn's art on the inside, he didn't do the cover, but uh, it's very... Uh, who's the guy, the creepy guy? Corbin, Richard Corbin. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds me of like a kind of a more modernized Richard Corbin, kind of gritty. Um, it's really good with the subject matter because it's like a you know, super bleak apocalyptic future where, um, you know, nothing is fun and living stinks yeah. and uh, it's up to or her to hopefully make things better. Yeah. Um, so check it out. And it's a buck. First oh, I thought that was a, a typo. No. What? No. Dark Horse is doing that with a lot of stuff. Uh, House of Night, uh, which is going to be another big one, and The Strain. Both can be a buck. Oh, The Strain. Don't mm -hmm. even get me started on no. The Strain. Oh, so good. Uh, I'm going to pick The Cape number two. This is just uh, an absolutely insane book. Um, it has the, 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 all the, the, just the crazy insanity of, like, uh, kick-ass kind of thing, but, uh, this guy's not really very nice. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, every issue that I read, I'm wondering, like, what this guy's gonna, what horrific things this guy's gonna do, and he never lets me down, mm -hmm. so thank you. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna highlight one DC number two, just because I really, really loved uh, the first one, and I, I was hoping to see if it could continue. I didn't know if they put kind of packed all their awesome into the first issue. I wasn't sure if it could continue. It continued. Mm -hmm. It kind of continued. It was uh, it was really, really good. Um, some crazy subject matter in this, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So check that out. Um, and then X Men Regenesis. This is the the bridge between the new X. Uh, relaunches, uh, the two new number ones, and Schism, which just ended. Mm -hmm. So this is like the little In glue. Everybody breaking up. So, uh, sad. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Yeah. It really is. Um, and just a couple of like other quick kind of DC number two highlights. Um, there's a whole batch of number twos that like the number ones really had a lot of buzz. Like Batgirl number two was out this week. Um, Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Which is really good. Uh, Deathstroke, Demon Knights. Those are kind of the ones that everyone was kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, check it out. Cool. If you love number one, read number two. See if you continue to love it. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, this is also going to be a big week uh, oh, because shush. Sunday, Walking Dead season two comes back. We get a lot of Walking Dead stuff. We get all the trades. We got some toys coming in in the, in the upcoming week. Uh, we got the DVDs. Um, so Brett's going to show you that. These are the McFarlane toys, and it's got spring-loaded head-splitting action. This so guy's can, head actually will split apart. Yeah, which is so uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to have some toys. We got some more coming in next week. Um, awesome. Also next week is Batman: Arkham City. It's coming out on the video game finally, and uh, the uh, the uh, the collection of the uh, Arkham City comic is out this week so it kind of bridges the gap between uh, Asylum and City so there's going to be all kinds of Batman going on. Batman Year One came out on DVD um, yesterday so a lot of Bat stuff. A lot of Bat around. stuff yeah. flapping around mm -hmm. in here. Yep, and we've got all the Batman stuff in stock so yeah, it's going to be a fun week. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Some people are going to New York. Not Some me. people are. Not me. Some people. No, I'll be at the, the film festival this weekend because there's two films of note that Tell you can me. check out. Uh, the Stan Lee documentary uh, with Great Powers played on Saturday, and then also Superheroes, which is a documentary about vigilantes like Phoenix Jones and uh, the kind of like true life kick ass type thing. Mm -hmm. where people go out, dress up in costumes, and you know, beat people up. Yeah, so. they're like the guardian angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the director's going to be there Saturday for a QA after the film. So cool. You might want to check that out. I want to check it out. I will not. Yeah. You'll be. I'll be flitting. You'll be in Gotham. Oh. I think so it anyway, went long. Yeah. I'll be curious to see what the time says. Yeah. But anyway, let's just get out of here. All right. We'll see everybody later. Bye. Have a good week. No toys.